In the world of My Hero Academia, many individuals are gifted with exceptional superpowers or quirks, which allow them to fulfill their dreams of being shining heroes and superstars, or to plunge this sparkling world into chaos and achieve their villainous ideals. As your typical shonen anime, the narrative of My Hero Academia revolves around a protagonist, Izuka Midoriya, who has been gifted with nothing, yet has a dream to become the number one hero, and we as an audience follow this hero's journey. But between amazing heroes, dastardly villains, and our protagonist crying like a little Nani? to achieve his dreams, there are people that are forgotten on this spectrum of talent. The mundane or perhaps even somewhat gifted people who have quirks, yet whose gifts aren't spectacular enough and have no way to achieve their dreams are all but lost in this narrative. All except for one person, Hitoshi Shinso. What's up, it's Truth Hero, and welcome to this edition of My Hero Academia Philosophy as we explore the tragedy of being ordinary, invisible, and ultimately forgotten, and why we as an audience love Hitoshi Shinso for standing against this. And yes, spoilers ahead. Part 1, Limbo. Hitoshi Shinso is a character that occupies a sort of limbo in My Hero Academia. He's not as unfortunate as those who are quirkless and without superpowers who have no chance to become heroes, yet not as gifted and blessed as those with exceptional quirks who are almost destined from birth to be professional heroes. In a word, Shinso was ordinary. On top of his place in limbo, Shinso's quirk of brainwashing is not only lackluster in combat compared to other students, therefore it's seen as impractical for being a hero and fighting villains, but it's also viewed by many as a negative thing even an evil or villainous quirk. By viewing Shinzo's quirk as a negative, this is the equivalent of people preemptively crushing someone's dreams. We often dismiss someone's goals as pipe dreams or unachievable if we don't see immediate talent. We dismiss them all the while espousing platitudes such as always chase your dreams and you can do anything if you just put your mind to it. Speaking of mind, let's explore the meaning behind Hitoshi Shinzo's name and how this can explain both his tragedy and his triumph within My Hero Academia. Hitoshi's name is comprised of the kanji for heart or mind, manipulate, person, and use, obviously a reference to his brainwashing quirk. The kanji comprising Shinzo's name can also mean honest, as well as to rig into one's favor, two concepts that are very important here. Shinzo is no doubt tired of the lip service surrounding chasing your dreams, and tired of being ignored and overlooked because his quirk doesn't fit society's requirements for being a hero. But perhaps as his name suggests, Shinzo can rig his situation and his quirk into his favor of being a hero. Part 2. Reality. Except, the doubters aren't exactly wrong. Shinzo has taken steps to achieve his dreams like any of us, but due to the nature of his situation, has a cruel reality check. When Shinzo does get an opportunity in the sports festival and successfully brainwashes Deku showcasing the power of his quirk, the cruel reality that favors the talented or blessed few stops any illusions of grandeur Shinzo might have of being a hero. The vestiges from Midoriya's one for all promptly snap Shinzo's hold and allow our protagonist to break free and win the match. At the very least, even Midoriya realizes that there's nothing he can say to Shinzo that will help him come to terms with the fact that he just has not been born blessed. Shinzo himself even remarks about his own dreams of being a hero while lacking the ability. You can't help the things your heart longs for. <sighs> I felt the same way. Before I inherited one for all, I was just like him. This harsh reality check is one that many of us confront. Whether it's trading in the cleats and jersey for the suit and briefcase, or allowing self-doubt in society to tell us what role we should ultimately play, we oftentimes relinquish our dreams too quickly, despite knowing that we have actual talent, and knowing in our hearts that it's not really what we want to do. While working for the man might be the responsible and practical choice, we ultimately feel lost in the mundane sea of the corporate world, a cog in the machine without a greater purpose. Shinzo's desire to be a hero parallels his fear of being forgotten, his fear of being ordinary, and never doing anything of true value. In the words of the artist Banksy, they say you die twice, one time when you stop breathing, and a second time, a bit later on, when someone says your name for the last time. 
For many people, being remembered, even for something scandalous, is better than being righteous, yet lost to the oblivion of normalcy. Better to be infamous than not known at all. A prime example of this obsession with a legacy, even if it's a bad legacy, is the movie Fight Club. In order to escape the absolute drudgery that is ordinary life, the protagonists, along with other men, engage in vandalism, deplorable behavior, and of course, violence. Hence the title, Fight Club. Oops, I don't think I was supposed to talk about that. This deplorable behavior even escalates to terrorist acts just so the men can feel some excitement and perhaps a sense of purpose and meaning in a bleak consumer-driven existence. In My Hero Academia, there's no one that really tries to escape an ordinary life by committing evil. Well, maybe LeBrava and Gentle Criminal by posting videos online, like a YouTuber, like me, and what I do. Huh. However, many villains do feel their ideals will be forgotten, and as such, go to the extremes to see them carried out in society. Stain may be in prison now, yet his philosophies and actions as the hero killer will be ingrained in hero society for years to come, and have even influenced other villains to embrace and continue his work, further preserving his twisted legacy. I have no doubt that the name Hero Killer will be uttered in hushed tones long after Stain has drawn his last breath. Part 3 Perseverance Despite these fears, Shinto has not succumbed to society's conceptions of his quirk being geared towards evil, nor has he stooped to villainy in an effort to be infamous rather than ordinary. He recognizes his place, but doesn't give in to society's wishes for him to be mundane, and is determined to achieve what goals he can. In recent chapters of My Hero Academia, Shinto has been working on combat training with Professor Aizawa. This, along with a few support items, have given Shinto a fighting chance of getting out of general studies and into the hero course at UA. To me, it's no coincidence that the kid who desires to be a hero but is cast aside from that goal for not being flashy or overtly strong, finds refuge in the tutelage of Professor Aizawa, someone who shies away from the spotlight and whose erasure quirk isn't an overtly powerful one in brute combat, although pretty devastating when used correctly. Often, true talent doesn't initially appear as ordinary. If you want to be remembered, you gotta be different. Shinto is both a dreamer and a realist, both believing in himself yet accepting the reality of his situation. One moment he is pushed towards his goal, and the next he's pulled back, like a heartbeat, pumping and resting. Maybe the reason we love Shinto's tragedy and triumph so much is because, well, in a word, Shinto isn't ordinary, he's honest. He looks at his situation in an honest and truthful manner, yet chases his dreams in an upstanding way, not stooping to evil out of his fear of being forgotten. Shinso and his trials and tribulations are the closest thing to us when watching My Hero Academia. None of us have superpowers, and we realize the reality of our situations. However, perhaps we should learn that while it's great to be mindful, honest, and truthful about our realities, we shouldn't just sacrifice our dreams when we actually have talent. We should be like Shinso and follow our heartbeats. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Why do you love Hitoshi Shinso? And what dreams are you chasing? What's your heartbeat? If you like My Hero Academia content and want to see more, be sure to enroll at UA today by clicking the subscribe button down below. And until next time, plus ultra.